Listen. Well, most white people don't even like to talk to black people because, you know, just on the conversation alone. Hmm. It's on that. You know, most white people cut you off real short. You know, they, they don't have time for no random conversation. They'll mention, you know, how the radar's going to do and something like that. That's about it. <laughs> hmm. They do not, you know, most white men, and it's certainly not white women, have conversation with black people, period. Because they know we ain't talking about nothing that they need to hear. <laughs> now, if they think that you are a thinker and that you are a doer, that you get things done, they'll come looking for you to talk to you. <laughs> but for the most part, they don't want to have no conversation. They sit next to you on the bus and whatnot, they, they haul out a newspaper. And then hide their face behind it so you don't even look at them, you know, and they don't definitely don't want to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I I have seen that. I have seen yeah. that. Yeah, I I um I, again as I said, I have seen this repeatedly, uh, and I encourage non white people to do that. In fact, um mm -hmm. a non white person asked me, uh, how would you go about talking to white people about racism? Uh, and I told them, you know, you don't have to do that if you're a victim. Uh, you can just talk to them if you're trying to get a cheap plane ticket somewhere. White people should be able to help you out with that. If you're trying to get a mortgage or anything constructive. Oh, yeah. White and, should... and, and when you hear them talking to each other, listen. Because in many cases, they are handing out constructive information. You pick up on things that you don't hear otherwise. But you just about know what you're going to hear from black people. Really? That's how the fuck we do it in the car. And y'all niggas next. Word of my mother, nigga. Black, <laughs> nigga. Fuck. Goddamn little homie. Goddamn little homie. Look at my face. Usually it's not very constructive. Wholeheartedly agree. Yes. You know, you pass by three black people standing on the corner, and you pass by them, and the conversation is really depressing. Hey, man, I told the MF, well, you know, I mean, I ain't no fool. I mean, he come up getting in my face. I told him he better, better not do that again. You know, that's what you hear, just in passing them mm -hmm. on the street. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, so, you know, he now he fooling around with that woman and coming up and bringing her over to my house. I mean, you know, they sitting down there, I mean, you know, they they eating my food. I told him, don't be coming back over there no more, you know. Yeah, I told him, you know. <laughs> How long have I been hearing that over and over again, year after year, decade after decade? The conversations are nothing but conflict or something depressing. I mean, just passing them. Just passing by the average black person. Just hanging out, I mean, you know, standing there holding a the conversation. Now, you, you go another block, and there's two white men there having a conversation, wearing hard hats. I mean, they're probably, in, you know, construction supervisors or something like that. See? They're saying, yeah, Brian, now, uh, on, on, this, uh, <clears throat> on this deal that we got going over on... Uh, on uh, on on this 18th Street project, you know. Now uh, we're going to need blueprints for that. See this, you know, you're just passing by, but that's the kind of conversation you'll hear. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'd yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you just pass. It's just a brief conversation, mm -hmm. you know. Or you got on the elevator with them, the freight elevator or something. I mean, and, you know, and that's what you hear on the freight elevator between two white men talking. Yeah, Brian, uh, so you come over and pick up the blueprints now, and that's on the 18th Street Project. See, and uh, we'll get started on that right away. We can do that, you know, in a couple of weeks if we should have it off and running, you know. Mm. Say, okay, I'll see you, you know. And then he gets off the mm. Then black people get on. Yeah, oh, man, I told him if, you know. <laughs> I mean, he ain't the only one who got a gun. You know, lots of people got guns, and I definitely got two or three of them. You know, 
You know, come over there getting in my face again like he did last Thursday. I'll show him something. Mm. Mm. Then they get off the elevator. I mean, you know, I mean, <laughs> two different worlds all together. Black people talk most, mostly to each other in order to, uh, to argue. That's really why they're talking. They don't know this, but that's why they're talking. They're not trying to learn nothing. They're not, you know, they're just trying to, like I said in the book, uh, show offism. They're trying to show how much they have learned from white people. But they're trying to show it to another black person because it doesn't make sense to show it to a white person. Because that's just who, that's just who told them. What do you think a black person is doing when they walk around waving their degree? I hear some black uh, professors and whatnot. I mean, stand up talking about, you know, how much they have learned, you know, and how degreed they are and all like that. And then turn right around and start talking about dumb white folks. And that's who gave them their degree. They came a long distance, some of them all the way from Nigeria someplace, trying to learn. Learn from who, me? No, they passed right by me. That's the one intelligence that they have. <laughs> how many black people, how many uh, black people do you see? And I'll go further than that. How many white people do you see? Following black people all over the world, trying to learn how to get to the moon. That's not where you go. Doesn't work. Anybody who will tell the truth know that don't work. I know some non-white people who would say there are white people who are not smart. Uh, I, in fact, just heard a whole them. lot of them, and they're correct. I'm gonna join right in for you. Even go that way. Yes, a whole lot of white people who don't know a whole lot of things. But you, you know what? Under the system of white supremacy, they know enough. Because they don't have to know. And what is that enough? Something I heard a white woman say one time. <laughs> a bunch of black people were, were laughing at her because they were laughing at the way that she dressed. Mm. He was talking about how tacky she was at the way that she dressed. This was on a job that I was on. Mm. They were getting on the elevator and they were just, they were cracking up at the way that she was dressed. Because she was dressed in what most people would say in an outlandish manner. Just outlandish, okay? Like she had gone out of her way to attract a whole lot of laughter, okay? But she heard them laughing at her. And she turned around and said one thing. Yes, but I'm white. <laughs> and walked off. Wow. In other words, y'all can laugh at me and dress in all your fine clothes and all like that, but I can do things that you would never do in your entire life. I can wow. go places. I got connections that you would never have. No matter, your children would never have. That's what she was saying. That was back in the 60s. Those black people on that elevator got dead quiet. Wow. Because they knew that she was telling the truth. Say, yeah, I can dress any cotton picking way I want to. <laughs> but you got no right to laugh at me. Because when you look at my overall circumstances and yours, no contest. <laughs> That's what she was wow. saying in just that one statement. Now, she didn't say all that. She just made one statement. But I was standing nearby. I knew exactly what it meant. <laughs> yeah, wow. but I'm white, you know. I don't have to dress no kind of way. I don't even have to have clothes on. I'm, st I'm still in a league better than you. I got connections better than you'll ever have. Right. Wow. Yeah. So to all y'all on that elevator, I mean, just get on it, close the door, and go straight to the ghetto. Now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet. That have been
been presented. And that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been, from what I understand, some people reported to me a plus. Because they didn't understand what I had written very well, but when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because people are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever. 